Hi, I'm Dave Zellner, Westpath's Chief Investment Officer. The first quarter of the year saw high rates of inflation compounded by uncertainty surrounding the devastating war and humanitarian crisis in Ukraine. The U.S. Federal Reserve signaled that it intends to aggressively bring down inflation by raising interest rates. As a result, most stock and bond markets experienced losses in the first three months of the year, and nearly all of Westpath's funds declined in value. We know that market declines can be unsettling for clergy participants, especially those with ministerial pension plan balances who are nearing retirement. MPP requires clergy to convert 65% of their account balance to a monthly benefit payment known as an annuity. Hence, you may be concerned that a lower account balance resulting from recent market declines will reduce your expected monthly benefit payment. For those with an MPP account nearing retirement, please know that your MPP account balance is not the sole determining factor for your monthly benefit payment. A second element called the annuity payout rate also plays an important role in how Westpath calculates your monthly benefit. Factors that determine your annuity payout rate include your age at retirement, mortality assumptions, whether you have a spouse, and any cost of living adjustment built into your annuity. In addition, market-based interest rates heavily influence payout rates. Generally, as interest rates rise, annuity payout rates rise. Conversely, when interest rates fall, annuity payout rates fall. Westpath provides monthly updates to its sample payout rates on our website, as you can see on this slide, available on the website noted here. As you approach retirement, Westpath manages your account balance through its Life Stage Investment Management Program. This program seeks to neutralize fluctuations in the monthly benefit payment that you can expect to receive at retirement. Hence, a clergy participant approaching retirement should reasonably expect the impact of higher interest rates should partially or fully offset losses in the value of their account. So now let's take a look at two actual participants nearing retirement and how the decline in their account balance and increase in annuity payout rates affect their monthly benefit payments. Our first participant is a married 70-year-old clergy participant with an MPP balance of just over $556,000 at the beginning of 2022. Because of first quarter market declines, his balance fell to $516,351. On January 1st, the annuity payout rate was 4.85%, which assumes a 70% joint and survivor annuity with a 2% annual cost of living increase. If this participant had retired on January 1st, he would have received an annual annuity of $26,983, resulting in a monthly benefit payment of $2,249. Now, if we look at March, higher interest rates resulted in an increased annuity payout rate of 5.20%. Accordingly, applying the updated payout rate to this participant's month and March balance results in an annual annuity of $26,850 or $2,238 per month. Therefore, Despite experiencing a decline in his MPP account balance of over 7%, his expected monthly benefit payment fell only one half of 1%. Our second participant is a single 65-year-old male with an MPP balance of $312,323 at the beginning of 2022. His balance fell to $289,439 because of the market declines. On January 1st, his annuity payout rate would have been 4.86%, and that assumes a single life annuity with a 2% cost of living increase. If this participant had retired on January 1st, he would have received an annual annuity of $15,179, 
resulting in a monthly benefit payment of $1,265. Now, if we look at March, higher interest rates resulted in an increased annuity payout rate of 5.23%. Accordingly, applying this updated payout rate to the participant's month and March balance results in an annual annuity of $15,138 or $1,261 per month. Therefore, again, despite also experiencing a decline in his MPP account balance of over 7%, this participant's expected monthly benefit payment fell by only 0.3%. So I hope you found this explanation helpful for how we at Westpath determine your monthly MPP annuity benefit. It's important that you understand that more dramatic market moves could potentially have a greater effect either positively or negatively on your expected monthly benefit payments. You can always access your MPP account balance through the online benefits access portal. Please refer to the link on the screen in accompanying this video for additional information on the calculation of your MPP monthly benefit.